Hi everyone. Welcome to the video lesson course Introduction to MATLAB Software. This is our fifth video lesson. This video lesson teaches how to solve differential equations using numerical techniques in MATLAB software. First, let's learn how to solve a first ordered ordinary differential equation in MATLAB. In advanced mathematics, there are many numerical techniques to solve differential equations. Probably you might have learned in the maths class for your undergraduate degree. The most common techniques are Simpson rules if the differential equation can be solved by integration Otherwise, we can use uh, Taylor series methods or uh, Runge Kutta methods as uh, numerical techniques. Hope that you might have already learned these techniques. In MATLAB software, also, there are a variety of ordinary differential equation solvers. The commonly used ones are ODE23 and ODE45. Actually, these are the commands. ODE23 uses Euler's method and lower orders of Runge Kutta methods as numerical techniques, while ODE45 uses higher orders of Runge Kutta methods so that the solutions would be more accurate when we use ODE45. So, let's see how we can use these solvers in MATLAB software to solve a differential equation. Let's take an example problem. A liquid level system where liquid enters a cylindrical tank at a rate of QI and leaves at a rate of Q0 through an orifice with area simple A. The mathematical model for the system is a differential equation which shows the relationship between the height h of the liquid and the input flow rate qi. Surface area of the bottom of the cylindrical tank is capital A is equal to 0 0.5 square meters and input flow rate is constant that is qi is equal to 0 0.003 cubic meters per second. A liquid velocity at the outlet orifice is uh, simple v and the orifice area simple A is equal to 0 0.001 square meters. So we need to solve the differential equation in MATLAB software and find ultimate liquid level simple H of the tank. As an application this can be a basic process control problem to control the liquid level in a vessel or a tank. So finally, the liquid level should be in steady state. Since our objectives are related to chemical engineering and process control, we will consider related examples like this. Okay, so if we analytically solve this differential equation, probably we can use Runge Kutta method and obtain numerical answers. But let's see how we can solve it easily in MATLAB software. So we can provide some important steps for solving differential equations in MATLAB. First, we must create a function in MATLAB in a script file that defines the differential equation in our problem. Then enter the constant values in the function. The third step would be specify the initial values for the variables and the ranges over which the solution is required. Finally, we can use the solver either in the command window or in a script file to solve the differential equation that we define. Okay, so clear four steps. Let's first create a new function. So we already learned how to create a function in script file in our video lesson 3. So if you feel uncomfortable, please go back to video lesson 3 and get practice to create a function in MATLAB. So we type as function the 
return values as dh dt is equal to let's name this function as level and the input variables as t and h so we should enter the values of constants capital a is equal to 0 0.5 simple a is equal to 0 0.001 and let's say q in is equal to 0 0.003 g is equal to 9.81 so those are the constants then we write the function as dhdt is equal to q in divided by a and simple a divided by a square root of 2gh so one important thing is for ODE solvers in MATLAB the differential equation should be in the format of dy by dx is equal to fxy so we have to take all the parameters to right side of the equal sign and keep the dy by dx in the left side so that's why we divided by a everything okay then we type in the function so let's save this script file in the name of level so the same function name should be there so the next step is calling the function by using the solver we will do that in the command window before that we have to specify the ranges and the initial values for the solutions so let's do the rest of the solution in the command window but if required we can enter the same commands in the script file and run it within the script file for solution so first let's clear the command window so we can type clear all or use clear command window option for that then specify the range of time as 0 to 1 hour so we type t range is equal to 0 to 3600 and the initial values of the variable the level h in the initial condition of t is equal to 0 h should be 0 so we type h in is equal to 0 so now we have the final step to call the solver of the function so first let's use ode23 the command format is the variables in square brackets so t h input variable and output variable is equal to ode23 the solver within brackets we have to use the same function name we saved previously in the script file so we say at level or you can uh, put within the apostrophes level and we have to mention the range of the input variable so uh, here we have to use the same name we specified the range so we type the variable name as t range so we have already specified it before that so t range and the initial conditions h in we can apply this method to any differential equation if we learn this uh, fundamental that means we have to specify the same variable names when we specify the range and the initial values otherwise we can show the range and the initial values within the same command so we can create a graph between the two variables time and level so we can use the plot command for that so we type plot th input variable and output variable so we can get the plot the graph and furthermore we can label this graph by using y label and x label commands y label we type as level in meters and x label we type as time the most important thing is we have to practice the formats of these commands entering the commands like this so anything inside apostrophe marks is for marked for printing so we want to print the axis names so we see the solution with the plot 
we can see that the liquid level in the tank becomes stable after a certain time that means initially the system is in dynamic mode and it becomes steady state after some time so we can get the ultimate liquid level in the tank is 0 0.4582 meters then let's check the ODE45 solver we can only change the solver name or solver in the previously entered command so we can take the previous command and change the solver name to ODE45 we can see the result is 0 0.4587 meters so which must be more accurate than the previous in this lesson we learned how to solve first order ordinary differential equations to summarize the ODE23 and ODE45 solvers can be entered in the format of x y the variables is equal to solver within brackets at function name the input variable range and the initial value so in the next video lesson let's discuss how to solve simultaneous ordinary differential equations using numerical techniques in MATLAB software so until we meet with our next lesson have a nice day and goodbye